Given the clear disadvantage of traditional owners when negotiating with gas giants and their almost unanimous opposition to fracking, which came out of the recent FOI report, this government must prevent any further activity in the Beedaloo until and unless genuine, free, prior and informed consent has been obtained. I want to acknowledge the traditional owners and custodians of the lands Is that racism? Is that racism? Can I just call out racism in this chamber right now, please? Chair, President, call it out. Point of order. An accusation so, made in this so, chamber, Senator and I would Thorpe, like Senator sorry, Thorpe Senator to withdraw. Thorpe, just, sorry, Senator Hughes, you have a point of order? Yes, Senator. Uh, well, I'd just like to point out that Senator Thorpe has just made a comment about me that I think she should withdraw in its inference. Well, in fact, it's direct calling. Senator Thorpe? What? What are you asking me to do? President, what are you asking me to do? Uh, Senator Thorpe? I've just had you a point of order it? that you actually made. Um, I, d I did hear what uh, Senator Hughes said, and and you don't see that as racist. Uh, well, that is not my my call to make. However, I are you making a point of order? I'm making a point of order that I am in my workplace, and I don't need racists being racist to me while I'm reading my speech. Can you please make sure that I am not targeted with racism while I'm trying to do my job, please? Senator Thorpe, uh, Senator Hughes. I don't think it's appropriate for Senator Thorpe to be referring to anyone in this place as racist, and I would ask her to withdraw. I would ask her to withdraw. Senator that is absolutely inappropriate, and I will not be referred to by you as anything, Sen let alone Senator that Hughes, you take need your to— seat. Senator Hughes, Senator Hughes, Senator Hughes, Senator Hughes, you are not helping, and you, Senator Hughes and Senator Thorpe, Senator Thorpe and Senator Hughes. Thank you. Now, Senator Thorpe, I did not. I heard what Senator Hughes said, and. I didn't uh, hear anything uh, that was no. Now, what I will ask is, uh, so Senator Thorpe, if you would like, if you would like a review of the Hansard, um, then we can certainly, I can certainly ask for a review of the Hansard. I would like that, please, because I will not stand for racist racism Se in Senator my workplace. Senator Thorpe, you are not helping the situation by repeating that claim about Senator Hughes, I would ask that you withdraw that imputation. I will, not I will not withdraw until you understand that I've just been racially vilified while I'm reading my speech. Senator Thorpe. So, Minister. Um, I think if it might assist the chamber, there's obviously a disagreement that's gone on here. I think your suggestion that um, the Hansard be reviewed um, and um, that the president or or yourself come back to the chamber at a later date might be the best way to facilitate this evening. Senator Hughes. Well, I would like to just make the point that uh, the constant reference to Australians who are born here from a different heritage referred to as colonisers is not helpful in Sen any okay. way. Sen so perhaps we need to refer to the Hansard in more way than okay. one. So Senator Hughes and Senator Thorpe, uh, I will confer with the president and also the clerk and we will review the Hansard and we will come back and report back to the Senate. Thanks. Senator Thorpe. Uh, Acting Deputy President, I appreciate that. Can I continue to read my speech? You have the call. Thank you.